Hi there, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use the cart widget. Online shopping carts are an important part of your e-commerce website. They simplify the payment process for customers and enable them to save and revisit potential purchases. With Elementor's cart widget, you can fully customize the design of your cart page, making sure it matches your brand and is set up to optimize sales. Let's check it out. When you install WooCommerce, it automatically generates shop pages for your store's functionality. I've edited this page in Elementor, but still need to design the cart. By default, it will look something like this, because it's set to display it with shortcode. That's where Elementor's cart widget comes into play. It enables you to customize this page however you like. I already added some items to this cart, so it's easier to follow along. First off, you can set the general layout by choosing to display everything either in one or in two columns. Setting it to two brings the cart totals up top, making it more visible. You can also make sure this column is set to be sticky. Set an offset to make sure the header doesn't overlap with it while scrolling. Next, in order summary, you can change the update cart button text. Same goes for coupon. Set the apply text over here. In totals, you can change the section title of the right column where the totals details are shown. Same goes for the checkout button text. You can also set the update shipping button text, but in order to display it, you need to make sure it's enabled in your WooCommerce shipping options. Simply click to enable it and save changes. Back in the editor, you'll now see the shipping options and button over here. Before moving on to styling, in additional options, you can choose to auto-update the shopping cart when visitors make changes. Turning this on will remove the update button from our layout. All right, time to style the cart. There are many options over here for you to really customize this widget. Let's jump right in. In sections, you can control the overall style of all three cart widget parts. Changing the background, for example, will affect the order summary, coupon, and total styling. You can give it a box shadow, a border, set the border radius, as well as add some padding and margin. Next, in typography, you can set the card total's color, typography, text shadow, and spacing. Same goes for descriptions in the card total section. You can style links as well, both normal and have estates. And if, for example, you have two or more shipping options set up, they'll be displayed as radio buttons. Let's move on to forms. Here, you can control the styling of the coupon code field and button, as well as the shipping fields and update button. Use rows gap to create some space between fields. Under field, you can set the typography and color of the placeholder texts, the field's background color, as well as box shadow and border settings. You can style these fields for both normal and focus states making it easy to personalize the interaction. Okay, great. Let's move on to buttons. Here, we can style the apply coupon and update buttons with all the regular styling options you're used to. I'll tweak these settings quickly too, so you can see. Cool, this cart is starting to look pretty sweet. All right, time to style the order summary. Here, we can control the rows gap, style the titles, as well as the cart items, which affects the price, quantity, and subtotal details. If you set up variations, you can style them too. Next is the product link. 
you can set the color for both normal and hover states. You can also change the color and weight of the dividers between the products. The same goes for the quantity borders. You can also style the remove icon. So play around with the settings to get the design you're looking for. We're almost there. Soon you'll see the cool customize settings and we'll check out the mobile a bit. In totals, you can control the rows gap of the car total section. Style the titles and totals and add a divider above the total price. You'll see it once you increase the weight. There's one more element that needs styling, the checkout button. Go ahead and style this button like any other one. Okay, great. My cart page is almost done. Last but not least, we'll check out the customize option. So far, we managed to style quite a lot of this widget. But if you want more granular control over the order summary, coupon, and totals of your cart page, you can add them over here. Each one will get a dedicated drop down with settings for you to customize further. And if you don't need it anymore, you can simply remove it. Let's go ahead and customize the total section so it stands out from the rest. You can give it a separate background color Set a box shadow or border. Adjust the padding and margin. And style the title, description, and links individually. Changes you make here override the styling you set before. Okay, now that we're done customizing for desktop, let's see what it looks like on mobile. Looks quite good already. Just like any other widget, settings with device icons can be tweaked for various screen sizes. I'll go ahead and adjust the order summary rows gap. Much better. Now all the product related details are grouped together. The rest looks good, but let's add some margin around the total section to create the same look as on desktop. Cool. One last thing, let's check out the WooCommerce settings in Site Settings. Here, you can set your shop pages right from the editor. Simply search for the pages you want your visitors to be sent to. Note that when you drag in a new cart widget and save the design, you'll be prompted with this message, asking if you want to save it as your cart page. Your changes automatically sync with WooCommerce. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the cart widget to fully customize the design of your cart page. Go ahead, try it out, and show us your awesome designs in the comments below. As always, have fun creating, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.